Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's another one of these spooky YouTube video night things. And uh, yes, um, this stream this time is going to be deep sea creatures. Um, I, I don't exactly know what this is going to be, but uh, you know, uh, here we go. We're going to be uh, <laughs> we're going to be checking these out. And uh, one of the things that I'm really fascinated by is the Loch Ness monster, right? Uh, there are some Loch Ness, Loch Ness videos being sent in, and I cannot wait to watch them. Because, uh, you know, all these videos are real, just like the Duende last last time. So, uh, you know, but is there going to be a crossover? Is there going to be deep sea underwater Duende? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I am pretty, pretty damn uh, excited to uh, have this idiotic segment go on because you guys uh, really enjoyed it. Um, but, uh, you know, if, you, if you're new to this, if you haven't watched it before, uh, we're just going to be checking out like paranormal videos on YouTube or like, uh, you know, over like videos that you just have an aura about them, you know, like strange videos, you know, and I am a little late. I am a little late because I usually do these on Saturdays and it is now a Monday. Uh, so maybe we'll get a monkey. Maybe we'll get a spooky monkey, you know, I don't know, maybe. But uh, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. You have to excuse my voice this stream. Um, you know, uh, I've been recording a lot and, uh, you know, so uh I sound like I sound like a deep sea creature this stream, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. But uh, anyway, regardless, everybody. Regardless, everybody, we're going to be checking out some videos. We have a bunch of videos here. And uh, well, Jesus Christ, where do I even begin? Where do I even begin? <laughs> um. I don't know, but uh, you know, maybe maybe friend when the friend way is our first video here. Uh, that could just be the entire thing, right? We just analyze the still image. Like, could it be? Could it be real? Could, is there a possibility? I'm not sure. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we go. This is our first video, and it is called "Ghost Leviathan Caught on Actual Footage." Is it real? Uh, isn't the ghost leviathan a, a subnautica creature? Yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, I was going to make a subnautica joke anyway, but but uh, what the hell? Um, okay. No, the, the, the reaper leviathan, right? I saw that thing when I was playing subnautica, right? So, uh, all right, well, let's check it out, I guess. If this is this entire video going to be ooh ooh scary? Okay. Oh my god. All right. Fine. 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 Let's see where this goes. Let's see where it might be. It might just be a coincidental image, and then it leads into an actual image. You know. Oh my god. All right. Fine. Okay. This is this. Is... I pray. I pray that. <laughs> This entire segment is just going to be like, have you seen the fish? Have you seen the Pokemon? You know, oh my god, all right, fine. <laughs> uh, I am subscribed. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, question. Is this video going to have a Spanish narrator asking, Ghost Leviathan real? Subscribe YouTube, please. Uh, it just has an aura of of I, I I don't know if I'm right I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shit a spoon. Okay, what is that? That's CGI. That's bad CGI. That is that is really no 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 and the shaky cam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is like Godzilla 98 CGI. I mean, come on. Come on. No, no. <laughs> this thing has more cuts than a fucking Indian uh, soap opera. All right. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a Skrillex show. I can't believe my eyes. The what, ghost Levatan. It's a Levatan class. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the stream. Holy shit balls. I'm gonna fucking Ah yeah 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 fucking hell oh god damn it god damn it <sighs> the ghostly button Right. It's a Livetian class found the species, an adult form of the ghost Livetian juveniles. It is the second largest aggressive creature. <laughs> is it, this reminds me, <laughs> this whole video reminds me when you're in fourth grade and you were trying to present something. So you took a video game creature because it, it is still an assignment. Hello, teacher. Today I will be showing the Bowser. <laughs> He is a big dragon and he burned Mario asshole. <laughs> but he's he's doing a fucking subnautica wiki. I mean that that's that's good. I like it, okay. Oh subnautica. Oh 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 no 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 wait, wait slow down slow down. But he is doing an actual subnautica thing here. What what just being the sea dragon leave at the end in a <laughs> What was this sent in? <laughs> What was this sent in? In your own opinion, is Ghost Livetian really exist or the video was created for entertainment? <clears throat> that is the question, my friend. That is the question. Hmm, Ghost Leviathan really exists or the video was created for entertainment? I'm gonna say real. I'm gonna say real, everybody. I I don't think this is a fabrication. You know, I think that that is is really a real video. I I, I don't doubt it for a second. Thank you, and just comment below. Uh, well, I'm not gonna comment on the video, but I'm gonna say, uh, you know, uh, everybody in the chat is in, in agreement. There's no disagreements here. This is a real video. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, I, I say this is a real video. This right here. Okay. Now I'm not gonna comment on on the on the fact that a creature of this size, at this <laughs> um, elevation, I don't know what we're gonna call it, this depth in the sea, would most likely cause a lot of um, waves and fluctuations. But don't worry about that. Okay. Th this is real. This is real. Because uh, the Leviathan ass might be big, but uh, that's none of us. None of us are deep sea experts anyway. You know, that's why we're gonna be doing critical judgment on these. But uh, as I'm saying, none of us know how the water works. So who are we to judge? I don't know. I think, I think, uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. Um, I think that that video was fascinating. You know, I don't know whether the video was shot, but I'm going to say, um, Florida. Uh, so, you know, there you go. There you go. Uh, that is the first deep sea creature. Is the Leviathan, uh, real? Well, the experts say yes. I don't know. I don't know. Levatan. That's what it says, yes. Well, moving on, everybody. Moving on. We have another video here. Um, this one is called uh, The Yale Lake Leaf Monster. Um, this is a this is a video. Uh, Yale... Oh, <laughs> not, not like jail. Like they jailed this monster up for like tax evasion crimes. But... Uh, <laughs> um, but Lake Yale... With a Y, that is. Um, I don't know where that is. Does anybody know? Um, it sounds like, um, I don't know, F Florida. I'm going to say that most of these videos are from Florida, even though they're not. Uh, they're, it's in Connecticut. Really? Well, uh, <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this. It's in New England. It's in New England. 
Okay, okay. So, you know, I'm going to say this. New England has England in the name. England is almost close to Scotland. Scotland has Loch Ness. Loch Ness Deep Sea Monster. This video, monster uh, good quality because it's in 240p. I don't know where I'm going with this. Play the video. Weird shit. <laughs> Weird shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. All right. Bubbles coming from the bottom of the lake. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to do a matter weenie joke, but I'm going to say that if you're in Lake Leaf and you start with a video with the <laughs> weird I don't know. No current. Mm -mm -mm. Who's farting in the lake? Let me try to put my phone over here. The, these seems that these my... these guys in the video they seem like protagonists from like a two thousands, um, like bad horror, you know, made by Eli Roth or something, <laughs> you know. Yo, we're in the lake, dude. Oh, <laughs> you see that thing? Fuck. Yeah. So I said, this is porno acting. No, no, no. But maybe, maybe. Okay, he put he put the thing in the water. Okay. Is something gonna come towards the screen? Weird though, dude. Okay. Uh, go, well. go, go. There's something gonna be in the lake here. Oh my god, look at that! Fuck? Look at that thing! What the fuck? <laughs> Third one, come on! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> something just happened that we can't. This is something's fucking up, dude. That was just that was just that was just mother nature taking a a, a giant caca in the lake, you know. Uh, the funny thing though is, <laughs> I'm not calling these guys advocators of of drugs, but I will say this: I will say this based on their almost Californian uh, accents. How fucked would it be if you saw like a crazy UFO alien, Loch Ness, whatever? But the problem is, you were really high during it, and you're like, "Damn it, I don't know anymore." You know, I that, God damn it, you know. And I can't hold a camera, you know, like, <laughs> it's confusing. Like, what is real anymore? Uh, camera. That was awesome. But a monster, though? Dude, it's Paranormal? Stinks. That might have been just like a SpongeBob creature, you know? But go over there and find out. Like, just don't stand around or, well, swim around or what lake around. What just happened? Got it all on video. Hmm. Dude, this just fucking reeks, dude. It's just. Again, confirming my theory that uh, Mother Nature. <laughs> oy, 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 oy. And shit. It just bubbled up and came to the surface. Now. It is starting again. I got that is the trippiest shit. I've <laughs> again, again, I'm not saying anything, but I, I think it's funny. But anyway, this started like this. Go, go, go. What the fuck? Someone said that was a sewer pipe burst. <laughs> I, the great almighty poo. How a bottom scat, you little twat. Okay, uh, I I think that this might not be what paranormal, uh, <laughs> but it is an unusual activity in the lake. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Lake Yale real quick. Um, lake Yale. It is in. Uh, it, it is in Florida. This is Florida. You weren't kidding me. Okay, well let's let's find out here. Um, 
Maybe there's several, uh, several Lake Yales. I don't know. Lake Yale is mostly surrounded by marshlands and sandy hills. The Lake Yale Baptist Conference Center is on the west shore. There's only one island on the lake, Rabbit Island, near its eastern shore. It is connected to Lake Griffin by the Yale Griffin Canal. The canal runs through the Emeralda Marsh, blah, 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 blah. There's a boat access into the lake via ramp. The lake bottom is sandy, it says. This is in Florida. Well, I can't, I can't find any other Lake Yale. There's another Yale Lake, actually, opposite in Washington, actually. Um, which, um, it might be this one, uh, not sure. Uh, this is just a, it's created, it was created in the kind of, okay. Um, well, there's two, there's two, I don't know which one it is. Um, not sure if this is Florida or not, but th these are not Florida trees. Yeah, I, I guess you need a lot of more, more, uh, swamps for that. But, uh, I, I'm gonna say this, a lot of people say this. That is not a Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster. It is not something paranormal. It is a, simply a sewer, sewer pipe that burst in the water. And I say, I can burst your logic. Because what sewer pipe goes through a reservoir, you know, what do we call it? A reservoir thing in like in the middle of nowhere. I mean, look, look, you think this place, this place they'll build like you know, a, a crap underneath it. No, 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 no. No, they wouldn't do this. Okay, there's too many bears uh, walking around, and it would be like a crime against God to do so. Um, if it's in Florida, but this clearly isn't Florida, as you see. This is like Washington, or you know, uh, Utah. <laughs> Um, no, I, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. well, interesting, interesting video. What, what could it, what could it have been? Well, uh, logic did dictate that, um, that, uh, this really looks like a Bob Ross painting, doesn't it? <laughs> um, this video in, in, in question of a watching, I, I really think this is paranormal because you know what? I say that is the trippiest shit. It is pretty trippy shit. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Stubborn fool in chat says, "You are not an engineer." <laughs> Shat S H A T knows what we're talking about. Well, I think I think that this video is real because why else would they be filming? Touche, touche, logic bonbonsness deployed. That's when you know real destroyed. Touche, touche. Okay, well, uh, moving on. Uh, you know, I was talking about the Loch Ness monster here, but uh, you know, jokes aside, this is a really impressive video, like for real. Uh, this is a monster in Loch Foil. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. By the way, th these are not deep sea creatures yet. Uh, these are like sea creatures, so we haven't gone down into the depths, you know. So, uh, you know, Joel, it's Monkey Mondays, not Sea Monster Saturday yet. How about it's um, mute your babbling Mondays? How about yo Mama Mondays, yo Mama? Marine Mondays, it's <laughs> Marine, Marine, Marine uh, Creature Monday, uh, <laughs> Monster of the Depth Monday. Okay, uh... <laughs> Is this an Ireland? Is this an Ireland? Look at the wee size of it.
<laughs> stop, stop with the potato comments. My God, I can't take this video seriously. Blah, 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 blah. There must be at least 40 potatoes in that lake over there, in that monster. <laughs> there must be at least 15 Guinness cans. Sea taters. Okay, well that... <laughs> okay. Why are they getting wed? <laughs> why are they... Why, why are they in a suit? I want to know the story behind this. This seems more like a Floridian story than it does, like, uh, an Irish <laughs> moment. Uh, hmm. All right, let's keep watching. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Why am I laughing? It's just it. He looks. This guy looks. This guy looks between five years old and 39. Or like 45. Like he's just. <laughs> he's very boyish, you know? <laughs> But you know what? You know what? This guy, this guy has titanium nuts compared to me. Because I would have been like, turn the boat around, turn the boat around. And this guy just smiles at him and goes, mm -hmm. you know, he faces danger where I cannot. Okay. So uh some somebody somebody in chat says, it's two little kids in a suit. It's Max Payne. <laughs> No, 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 guys. There is no goddamn relation between. <laughs> it's pain. Okay. <laughs> But you know, you know, you know what, you know what's insane about this. You know what's insane about this. Do you know what uh, Max Payne's face uh, uh, guy like, guy is called? You know what he's named? He's called Sam Lake. Okay. So <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Just <laughs> keep going here. Ooh. Saul connected. Okay, well, I, I wonder. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Shit. Can I get a better view of that? It. it I was gonna say it's a stone floating, but Godzilla. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are they in suits? Someone said it's just trash floating around. It. I don't think so. I, I, you know what I think? You know what I think? This is in Loth Foil. Loth Foil. And let's see here. Uh, Loth Foil. Uh, Loch of the Lip, it's called. It's on the north coast of Ireland. It lies between C County Londonderry in Northern Ireland. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, is there anything here? Let's see here. Uh, hmm. It's not too much about. Uh, it's not too m much about this lake, but uh, 
I'm looking at this right now. And uh, interestingly enough, I'm going to show you guys this. This has been documented before, by the way. I'm not the only one to do that, that has does this. Um, and if you take a look at this, at the very top, I think this is not related to the Loch Ness Monster at all, guys, because I'm going to demonstrate what I mean with this, right? I'm going to try to draw this. Uh, I'm, I can solve this mystery, right? Because if you look at this, I'm going to fill in the blanks, right? You see this? There we go. And, and this is just the contour of the eye. There we go. And I'm saying, I'm saying that this is a reptilian uh, predecessor. <laughs> Not related to the Loch Ness Monster, okay? Uh, because, because if you give it a little extra... If you do this, check this out. You do this, you do this, you do this, right? And then you do this. No, uh, uh, do this, do this. There we go. And then we do this. And then, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. You do this, this, this. And then, you know, you do this. And my God, Jack Black is back. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay. King of the Cuba. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I think that's close. I think that is close, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting though. Interesting though. Um, okay, yes, Jablin Jab Jablinski Games himself. Um. Anyway, that was that video. I, I thought it was fascinating. You know, uh, I was a little more fascinated by the, the fact that we're wearing suits. But uh, Sam Lake, <laughs> he's in the lake. Um, you know, uh, you know, honestly, we like to joke around in this segment, but I'm going to say this. That video has an authenticity to it, unless, like, you slow down the pixels and, you know. But I'm going to say at first glance, absolutely real absolutely real someone said probably dirty as iceberg could it be the same iceberg that sunk the titanic could he be looking around hmm guys have you ever thought about something It's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna blow your mind on this. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is an iceberg, okay? This is an iceberg. This is the iceberg that may have may have taken down the Titanic. Maybe not. Maybe not. Now, where well, this gets interesting is the iceberg. It's white. The water is blue. Ladies and gentlemen, Heisenberg. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be right back. Sit down. <laughs> we we have more scary videos coming up, so don't go nowhere. Uh, a bunch of videos, so sit back and uh, we're gonna get scared. So don't go nowhere. What the guy was saying is that a hair? <laughs> is that a hair? Um.
But uh, interesting video, as I said, interesting video, as I said, we are back with more videos here. Uh, and um, I have a very interesting video for you here. We haven't gone down in the depths yet, right? So we're still a little above water. But uh, somebody linked me something in chat here. What is this? Okay. No. No. No, that's real. Okay, as I said, uh, we <laughs> we have something here, and um, this video is a little, uh, I wouldn't say close to home, perhaps, per se, but it is in Iceland, because there's a lake monster seen in Iceland. Let's check it out. Okay, let me get this on screen for you. Okay, well, uh, interesting so far. Um, That's just ice. No. No, that is a ice snake. That's what they want you to believe in. Because I think that is a rare Icelandic snow snake. Okay? That thing is straight out of the Souls games. Okay? That is a wild Pokemon. Okay? Midgard Serpent. Uh... Someone said, that's just a pantyhose. No, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That is real. Okay. Because as you can see, it's got a it's got a head. You know, it's it's even got little like water bubbles going. You know. That is real, okay? That is real. Now a lot of you guys are saying that's just snow, that's just ice. None of you guys have been to Iceland, okay? Okay, look, 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 look at that. We're filming the mountains now, just to confirm that this is not CGI. Look at that. Filming the snow on, on, on the mountain. As you can see, there's a lot of rock and, you know, trees. But may maybe... <gasps> There we have it. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen. The monster. You were expecting an Icelandic video with an ice snake. Instead, you got Casa de la Muerte. Duende Casa. We found him. We found him. <laughs> back, back to the video. Um, there's a lot of snow in Sweden right now. In fact, I'm kind of snowing at the moment, but, um. And he has gone like that. He has gone like that. Because the guy filming... Oh, oh yo, yo, yo. wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that, it's back. It. Look at that, look Look at the... Oh, it's an even better shot this time. It's like Pokemon Snap. Look at that, and that... That footage right there pretty much confirms it. That is... That is real. That is real. It moves like a snake. It looks like a snake. And it's solid. I don't know. I don't know. You be the judge. You be the judge here. You be the judge. Uh, interesting. Uh, someone in chat says, that is an arctic snake, Joe. They tend to prey on the penguins and baby orcas. Let's let's take a look. Let's analyze the footage, you know, enhance. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, 
Icelandic ice snake. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. There's some info on this. There is some info on this. Uh, what, what, what was the what was the verbatim terminology you guys use? Because I'm getting unrelated results of that though. But um, what, what was the word we we used to? Snow snake. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here is here's documented footage of the snow snake. Um, the Icelandic water snake above above the water. Um, it look how it's perfectly shaped around the the twig. That's evidence. That is evidence, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Now, I know you guys are like, Joel, 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 that is snow. That is snow. <laughs> well, well, well. You think so? You thought so. Okay. Now, you guys are being the experts in chat is saying that's his Yeti cum. That is like, you know, snow Bigfoot semen. Uh, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we're looking at something that is of ancient origin here. I think that whatever this creature might be, uh, whatever creature this might be, uh, it is definitely something that is just, um, of other... <laughs> Sorry, th there's a picture on here. There's a picture on here. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I think that uh, this this video may definitely be real here. Uh, fascinating video, fascinating video. Um, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, now, as you can see, it, it moves its entire shape uh, and it develops a head, which might um, have an have an aura of ethereal origin where this is a shapeshifter right this might be a this might be a witch like an icelandic witch um this might just be loki you know there's a lot of snakes and stuff in 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 uh, you know norse mythology so i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying have an open mind here, ladies and gentlemen. It might be an ice witch. Somebody said that that is Bjork. <laughs> Stop that. This is a ice snake. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alaskan bullworm. Well, fascinating video. A fascinating video. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, we're going to end the above, above water surface videos with this video. And like, we've been joking around. We've been joking around here and we've been talking about, you know, and I said, this, this in nature, could it be that? This is the OG, okay? This is the juggernaut of all these creatures that roam around in lakes and everything. This is real life footage real life footage of the Loch Ness monster now if you don't know about the Loch Ness Loch Ness monster this is the original image this is uh, the classic everybody knows this one and if you need to know if I need to like give you a synopsis uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Loch Ness monster um, not from Swedish Wikipedia, because at that point they might just say it real, it really good and real. Uh, here we go. The Loch Ness Monster, affectionately known as Nessie, is a creature in Scottish folklore that is said to inhabit Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. It is often described as a large, long-necked and, and with one or more humps protruding from the water. 
Popular interest and belief in the creature have varied since it was brought to the worldwide attention in 1933. Evidence of its existence is anecdotal, with a number of disputed photographs and sonar readings. The scientific community explains alleged sightings of Loch Ness monsters, hoaxes, wishful thinking, and the misidentification of mundane objects. The pseudoscience and subculture of cryptozoology has placed particular emphasis on the creature. Now, this picture you're looking at is the surgeon's photograph from 1934. Uh, and um, apparently this is a hoax picture, right? As a hoax picture, apparently. Because uh, do you guys want to read this with me? Because this is this this article debunks the whole thing apparently, supposedly, but Wikipedia has an article to this debunking. By the way, debunking to these skeptics. Okay, because check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, I no I no 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 website. Uh, As you can see, here we go. The surgeon's hoax. That is Marmaduke Wetherell. Okay. The most famous picture of the Loch Ness Monster, a grainy black and white photograph. Again, we just show that one. Showing a long head and a neck emerging from the lake. It turned out to be a hoax. In 93, Christian Sperling steps on the flamboyant movie maker and big game hunter Duke Weather Wetherell admitted he'd made the monster out of some plastic and a clockwork tin plate a toy submarine the picture often referred to as the surgeon's photograph because became colonel robert Ken kenneth wilson a physician claimed to have taken it by lock and okay had with such careful scientific examination monster fans have speculated the picture showed a plesiosaur okay Ple plesiosaur while skeptics said it must have been an otter head or a tree trunk nobody seemed to have suspected it was actually a toy submarine guys that guy right there, that is the face of someone you can trust. Because any man, any man who can be chillax with a little monkey has his soul tuned to the truth, okay? Uh, if this man was a liar, if this was an evil man, this monkey would have turned around and ripped his eyeballs out like, like that. That is scientific. That is real. Okay, so this this article is just crap. According to the uh, two Loch Ness researchers, David Martin and Alistair Boyd. Okay, Nessie, a couple of things to ring true about the statement. Uh, that is a recreation, apparently. Sperling constructed a fake monster out of a tin plate by submarine and plastic material. I don't think so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm Duke Wetherell apparently concocted a plan of revenge upon the London Daily Mail newspaper in 1933. The Daily Mail had hired Wetherell to find a Loch Ness monster. Soon after arriving at the lake, Wetherell to find some strange tracks on a four-toed creature in the soft mud near the water. Wetherell estimated that whatever left by the tracks must have been 20 feet in length. Plastic heads were taken and sent to the London Museum of Natural History. While the world awaited the museum's analysis, however, hundreds of monster hunters and tourists showed up the loch. Unfortunately, after a few weeks of the museum announced that the tracks were not of an unknown monster, but those of a hippo. Apparently, Weather himself had been had been hoaxed. The dried foot used to make print were uh, probably part of an umbrella stand or ashtray. The Daily Mail was angered at Weather and ridiculed and humiliated him. Okay. It was soon after that Sperling, who had a model maker by trade, was approached by Stepford to build the the beast. Construction was done with plastic wood over the cutting tower of toys submarine had purchased. The neck estimated by some from the photograph to be over blah 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 blah. Well, give them their monster, Dukes, told his son. I know whether and his father took the completed contraption of the camera to the lock and photographed it on a quiet bay, then sank the evidence in the mud at the edge of the lake. The undeveloped film was then passed to Chambers and onto Colonel Wilson. While them developed, he then sold the photo to the Daily Mail. The conspirators were quiet and unprepared for the publicity the photo generated and apparently decided not to admit the hoax. The story stayed unknown for over 60 years. Okay. Uh, not everyone thinks that the photo is a fake. 
some have questioned why Martin and Boyd waited to announce the story until the Spurlings was dead, making it impossible for others to question him. And as far as the beast itself goes, not even Boyd thinks that the end of the surgeon's photo is the end of the Loch Ness Monster. Boyd, who has seen the creature himself, remains a believer. What is this? According to legend, a lake in the north of Scotland was a nearly mythical creature. I just had a heart attack. I just had a fucking heart attack. Okay. You can't, you can't spook me like that. In many drawings and sculptures, the Loch Ness Monster often has been pictured as a prehistoric plesiosaur. Why do you say it's so effervescent? Plesiosaur. It's a prehistoric plesiosaur. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's possible to do something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, you might be wondering, what the hell did I just do? I have a Corsair keyboard with a volume slider. Sometimes this thing gets like stuck and I'm stuck at full volume as I'm adjusting the volume right. And I have to physically unplug the USB because it's just full volume and I'm not quite ready to hear in my ear, okay. So, uh, <laughs> um, Anyway, as I was saying, uh, let's see if I can full screen this. Yes, I can, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I can. Here we go. Boom. An ancient marine reptile with a long neck, tail, a saucer-shaped body, and four flippers. But just where does this image of the monster come from? A 1934 <laughs> photograph taken by Dr. Robert Wilson, published in the Daily Mail, shows just such a creature. There's a strange history to this photo, however. Hang on, 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 hang on. Was this done in like the year one? I think we found the real cryptid, okay? That's, that's, that. That's Jeff Bezos. Might we be on to a trail to find out time travel? That's the question. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but let's keep going. A photograph taken by Dr. Robert Wilson and published in the Daily Mail shows just such a creature. There's a strange history to this photo, however. Its story starts not in Scotland, but in the south of England. There, in 1994, two investigators visited 93-year-old Christian Sperling. This looks like I'm about to play a PlayStation 1 horror game, and this is a cutscene. I can, I can just imagine the loading over here. <laughs> he told them a curious Loch Ness reloaded. In 1933, after several sightings, interest in the monster had soared. Hmm. The Daily Mail hired Sperling's stepfather. Yo, what is happening in the UK? What is happening? Okay. I can just imagine the, the bike going beep, beep, beep. I get your arse. Get your arse out of the highway. I gotta go down to, down to the pub. I know he's Irish, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fucking pirate. Scot Scottish and Irish people are pirates. They are... Big game hunter and <laughs> yeah. okay, stop it. Entertainer Marmaduke Weatherall to track the creature down. Okay, I thought his name was Marmalade. <laughs> Marmalade Weatherall. <laughs> I mean, Weatherall Marmaduke is kind of a crazy name, ain't it, already? But making casts of the prince, he announced his success. That's that's just Bunger from Bug Snacks. 
When the casts were examined, London's Natural History Museum, however, it was found that they had been made with a dried baby hippo's foot. Hmm. These graphics remind me of what Vinny plays on Sundays, and he'll play like a David Bowie exploration game, and the graphics are like this, you know. But whatever! Probably part of an ashtray. The newspaper ridiculed Weatherall for being caught. Listen. You know what I was saying? You know what I was saying, guys. You know what I was saying. You know what I was saying. Either that, either that, either that, or in a weird twist of fate, in a weird twist of fate. hooks this may have been Spitman Loch Ness Monster Slam this is stop okay <sighs> stupid okay uh anyway now, I don't know what the Undertaker sounds like yet Weatherall planned his revenge fun his time build him a monster Starting with a clockwork toy submarine, Sperling used plastic modeling material. That's just that's just one of those back. dragon dildos. <laughs> My finger points. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White. Jesse, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> Jesse, get the fuck out of the lake. <laughs> Nessie, Nessie. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing. We're gonna cook. <laughs> Fuck, that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Calm down. Okay. So I said you missed something in the bike scene. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. All right, shut up. Okay, no. You're goddamn right. Taking Sperling's creation with them. Finding a quiet cove, they proceed to take several. My main man just moonwalked. Okay, he just. <laughs> What's up with that? Quiet cove, they proceed to take. Ja, gå en liten härlig vandring här. Oh shit, Mikey Jackson! Finding a quiet coat. Jävlar, han moonwalkade ut i skogen! They plan to pass the undeveloped film to Wilson for a third party. Wilson, using the story that he'd been driving along the lock when he'd seen movement in the water and stopped to take photos, would have them developed. He'd then sell them to the Daily Mail. They might have that was the photo. <laughs> Why'd you got a bloody cock in, in the water? That's just a bloody penis! Well, and the photos became a sensation. The conspirators decide they better bury the story, much like- Please, please don't bury me, Undertaker and Nessie. <laughs> They're gonna kill me? Okay, no! And buried Sperling's monster. No! Done with it in the mud at the edge of the lock. No! <laughs> the investigators, Alistair Boyd and David Martin, exposed the hoax in a book. Uh -huh. Does this mean that Loch Ness has no creature? 
Not everybody accepts the story of Sperling's monster, and even Boyd believed that while Wilson's photos were a fake, a real animal still lived in the lake. This thing moves like you're having the fist gun in Gary's mod, and you're just like carrying a ragdoll. It just doesn't <laughs> animate. The Loch Ness monster continues even today, and tours still come to Scotland, hoping that they can catch a glimpse of the mythical beast. Ah! Holy bananas! Jump scare! The... <sighs> All right. 2011, huh? Hmm. All right. Uh, well, all I got to say is I think it's real. I think it's real. And you guys that are saying, no, 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 no. Well, let me tell you something. I'm about to shatter your whole world, okay? Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have new real footage of the Loch Ness Monster. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not messing around anymore. Okay? This is no joke. This is real footage that may or may not look like America's Funniest Home Videos, but, like, never mind that, you know? We're not going to have a funny baby coughing and making a face and then it wins $60 million. No, 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 no. This is the quality videos. This is a hi-fi. As you can see here, Loch Ness Monster. Now, now th th this, you know, I don't know you guys saying. This looks like Florida. He can travel. He's got flappers. Okay, yeah. Well, if you take a look at this, there's a little sped up here, but look, look at that. Look, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look how he flaps around. Okay, look, 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 look. Okay, okay. That was a splash, okay? Now, now you have to understand here how monumentally, biblically fucking crazy this video is, because, ladies and gentlemen, you have Loch Ness, a creature of... Astounding legend. Thousand stories. One of the OGs. Crazy creature, right? Filmed by an equally crazy creature. Ladies and gentlemen, the Florida man is filming the Scotland beast. Do you understand the, the amount of worlds colliding here? Okay, let me let me get a good, good okay, here we go. There he is. There he is. Hmm, you see its head. That's the head. It, it's got a little tiny head, but Okay, oh 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 look at look, look at that. Look at that. Oh that's maybe that's the uh the, the tail actually. Uh but as you can see, this is this is pretty compelling evidence here. Um you know, uh, pretty. What's this? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, I I've had it. I've had enough of this shit. No. Is that the video? Hey, <laughs> it's Scotland's funniest home videos! You're gonna be laughing at Nessie! You're gonna have to go down to the lake! You're gonna shit! You're gonna cry! You're gonna win 15 Scottish golds! You're gonna shit! What makes me a good demo man? Okay. Uh, well, I think... I think that this video is worth its gold in many Iron Bruce. Uh, I don't know where this video originated from, but I think this is pretty damn real evidence. 
I think this is pretty damn real evidence, everybody. Um, but what do you guys think? Real video or not? Real, 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 real. Oh, guys, we have a we have a conclusive evidence now by four thousand people live. You know, all saying this is real. So, I think it's real. I think it's real, guys. I think it's real, uh, and I can back that up. Because we just saw the Undertaker. <laughs> this has nothing to do with this, but uh, you know, uh, GTA Four Whale. Well, that that concludes, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the above water creatures. Now we're gonna go and take a deep dive into the water. Because we've seen, you know, the Icelandic snakes. We have seen, uh, like, a lot of this and that, you know. Um, but are you ready to go down and see what dwells in the depths? Well, before we, be before we start that, I have a bonus for you. Because this video... It's a video from like uh, Puerto Rico and it's called Eerie Apparition Filmed Chasing Water Tubers on Isabella River Canals, Puerto Rico. There's something, they're being chased by something here. Huh? Let's take a closer look. Hmm? I don't see anything, but uh... <laughs> Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. Thanks for watching. I don't know, but I'll say this. I'll say this. Five pixels on a video means that it's real. Okay. When things come from Latin America, the video quality, for some reason, drops down a little bit. But that also means it's more authentic. Yeah. I say it's real. I didn't see a creature, but that's the thing. The video is described as a apparition. That means that it was not seen in the light. It was a ghost. Can you see? Can you see? I don't know. I don't know. The invisible now? Well, you never know. Anyway, um, now we are going to go down in the waters. Because ladies and gentlemen, we have one of these uh, experts on YouTube. Remember the top 10 video world? Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have an expert here that has way more education than I have. So here we go. Woo. Ric Flair. Right. Five real life mermaids caught on camera. <laughs> oh. That is going to get really real. Last time, last time, last time we had one of these videos, it was a text to speech. Now we have Ed Sharon. Mermaid confirm yes. Five real life mermaids caught on camera. 
Some tourists were on a boat in Genjin in the Philippines when they spot a strange mermaid looking creature and get excited. This sure this is not like text to speech. The creature seems to have long white hair and from what I can make out it has arms as well. But what do you guys think? Real. Fake or real? He knows, he knows, he knows. But what I was perplexed by was this. Fake or... I think and... I think and... I think and... Mermaid. I say it's a mermaid. I say mermaid. Mermaid hand. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay. A lot of you guys are saying Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. No, 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 no. No. This is straight out of the waters, real mermaider. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Um, it kind of looks like a really overgrown axolotl, but you know, hey. This clip was featured on Animal Planet and it shows a group of fishermen going about their everyday work as normal. Mm -hmm. They pull up their latest catch and one of them spots a strange humanoid looking creature and freaks out. You can oh. clearly see what looks like an arm and a webbed hand. But what is it? Oh no. Yeah. Guess I'm still on the duende kick by the way. I expect like... I guess a duende <laughs> running around on the ship. This is a ninja turtle, dude. Put him back. Okay, uh, now, maybe, maybe Animal Planet here is fucked with this a little bit, but there, there's, a, there's a certain air of, we went into Sony Vegas and applied a corruption filter template. But, y hey, you know, who am I to say? Who am I to say? This you know. clip shows two guys on a cliff when they spot something strange on the rocks below. You can hear one of them ask, what is it? To which the other replies, he thinks it's a seal. Then this I've heard that talk before. Remember the Duende videos when the guy says, it's a penguin. But we all know we're a little smarter than that. Strange unidentified creature jumps off the rocks into the water. At this point, the guys freak out. They have absolutely okay. no idea what they just saw, but they are positive it wasn't a seal. Oh, yeah. Ma, there's a weird fucking cat. <laughs> that was just a big sardine. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Oh my, oh my okay. Hmm. Now, some people say, you know, the guy saying, oh my god, oh my god, dude, is acting. Bullshit. Bullshit, okay? You would say the same thing. You would act the same way if you saw a giant, giant creature like that, okay? Um, you would say, oh my god, oh, you know, um... You would do the same. Oh, oh my god, lol. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, well, I don't know about that video because it was ironically lower quality than a lot of those like latin american videos where you know it has duende duende vibes but uh, i don't know i don't know i say it's real i'd say it's real still the uk coast guard on a night training exercise when something appears in the water 
The seas are quite rough and obviously as it's night it's quite dark, but you can make out creepy glowing eyes and a mermaid-like tail. Oh. Some people are Why is like Prince Charles coming in? I mean, do you think that's him? Do you think that's... Okay. Well, I think every video from here on out, I do want Prince Charles reaction face cams. You know, I am a... Oh, sorry, King Charles. Right. That's the monster. No, that is that is that is that is Charles being too scared to watch the video. It's like one of those Japanese game show videos where you know they show something happening and everybody goes, "Eh, nanda," you know, just like that. But this is a real King Charles reaction, okay? Oh, he woke up. It's just a seal. Personally, I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty convinced it's not a seal. Okay, this guy moves like one of those like AI generated algorithmic music video things, you know, the um, Yakuza thing. <laughs> you know, Dame <laughs> Dane. I was so distracted by, by him that. Hang on. What, what? Oh shit, look at that. Pretty spooky. Pretty spooky, everybody. Pretty spooky, but you know what I say? You know what I say, honestly. Someone said, that's just a British woman. <laughs> okay. You know, you know what, you know what I thought it was at first when I was watching this footage? I thought that was the scary part. I didn't even see the fucking thing. I honest to God th thought it was like this. You see it? You see it too? You see it? Holy fuck! You know what I've done? You know, and it, it, it pertains a lot to British British culture anyway. Guys, uh, it's... it's uh, it's nosy bonk. It's nosy bonk, right? We have found a cryptid within the cryptid video. Interestingly enough, only 20% in chat knows who nosy bonk is. Uh, if you don't know, no, <laughs> nosy bonk was this like children's show thing. And, uh, I, I don't know what it was all about, but he's in the same vein as like Mr. Blobby. So, uh, you know, uh, all I gotta say is uh, pretty creepy video, pretty creepy video, you know, like, no, 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 you know. Uh, but all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Moving on, moving on here. Uh, I would say um, of all the videos so far, this one is the most uh, like you can really, really sort of see it, uh, but... I'm wondering here, uh, hang on, where is it? <laughs> I forgot what the video is in my, my thing here. Um, there we go. This footage was analyzed on a TV program and to this day it's still unexplained. The bald? A submarine was 3,000 feet below Greenland Sea, and one of the crew was filming. Then, this is Vsauce. What? And all of a sudden, something swims up and touches the window. The hand looks humanoid, and this clip is considered to be the best piece of evidence on the debate as to whether mermaids do indeed exist. <laughs> what? 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 What are you talking about?
<laughs> what is this? What? Oh, 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 Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was a joke video. I thought it was a joke video where the creator self-inserted him into the video and be like, And by the way, subscribe me channel. It's me, Reginald, here with a spooky video. But that he's inside the, the Subnautica machine, you know? You know? He look. He looks very flat. Like he looks like, uh, uh, yeah. You know, he looks like he doesn't. He looks like a G mod prop. He looks like a ch chase bot, whatever the fuck you call him. You know, he's just two D. He's flat. He's a PNG. But then that happens. Okay, to play devil's advocate. Let me just show this to you. There's a guy on the left too, by the way. Okay, here comes, here comes. Okay. Now... Here's what I say. Why aren't you high-fiving him back? Give me some skin. You know what I mean? What's up with that? My main man hanging. Okay. <laughs> uh, high five from a fish. Um... I say, I see a real video. I see a real video here, guys. And what machine is this? But it's like a cockpit. And that brings yeah. this list to. <laughs> what is this? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Poor Norm. Porno, porno, porno on the YouTube. We were, we were looking, we were looking inside the water for Scary Mermaid, but it turns out instead we got underwater urchin pussy. Okay, sea urchin pussy down in the depths. That's where the good pussy is. Mermusi Real 2003. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. You know what I sound like when I pull that voice? You guys ever watched uh, the uh, the Kellyan experience on YouTube? He sounds just like that. It's like he doesn't he doesn't try to speak English. It's like when I hear him, it's like daggers in my ears. I'm like, you go come on. <laughs> okay. Uh anyway, uh that was one of the 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 mermaid videos. Mermaid videos, everybody. Now we're gonna keep on exploring here. And this is actually legitimately like spooky. Uh, we like to joke around here a lot, you know, we we like to just, you know, be a little ironically scared sometimes, but this is a kayfabe off. Kayfabe off. If there was a safety word, I would pull it now, right? Like, all the jokes, all the jokes, like, pull that shit aside. This is actually legitimately scary for some people. Uh, and, like, seriously, like, if I, if I have a safe word, kayfabe off, this would be it. Not a joke. Um, like, cap all you want, but I'm serious about this. Um, this is... Uh, one thing that scares people, especially with the Subnautica stuff, is underwater noises from, like, 60,000, you know, 
depths. I don't know what the proper terminology here is to to measure that, but uh, this is seven eerie sounds recorded in the deep ocean. Now, I know about one of these. Um, I think everybody knows the bloop. And, uh... Okay, dude. If you're gonna... If you're gonna show me a bunch of scary noises, you better not plug your Spotify, okay? That is... <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. This video better not be... This video better not be his own scary deep sea noises that he made on a keyboard. <laughs> you know, uh, and they're like, I think, I think number five was quite scary. Okay, hang on, I need to read this. Uh, he, he, he video's a little too wide. Here we go. Okay. With the past several decades, breakthroughs in audio technology have led to more sound recordings being possible in deep water environments than ever before. Actually, that, that's that's a little too standard. Let me let me let me do that like better for you guys. <clears throat> Over the past several decades, breakthrough in audio technology have led to more sound record, and with them, certain strange recordings have been made, often capturing people's. Imagine sounds, which are recorded on hydrophonies or underwater microbonies developed by Reese Kirkers. They are seven of the most eerie deep ocean sound recordings currently known. The sounds will be presented in two separate categories sounds which have been identified by the NUA and those which remain unexplained. Sound of known or I cannot doing this. Sorry. Okay. Um. Now the problem is when I hear these noises. It, here's the bloop. The, the bloop is a classic. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the bloop. This is by sixteen speed. So mm -hmm. this is like in a ridiculous. Um, not altitude, but, like, down there, and it's been recorded. But, uh, this is number six. Uh, I wish I could give a little more context to each one of these clips, but, um, but Bloop is, is, is really, uh, really well known here. Uh, the problem is, I think I couldn't really hear it that well, because I kind of talked over it, I'm sorry. Uh, let me, let me show that again to you guys, because, you know, let me turn it up for you. Now, what's interesting about that is that you could say, oh, it's just like a, it's just a tuna hitting the microphone down there at like 60,000 uh, nauticals. Uh, that is like impossible because when you go on that deep down, um, like no life like that can live. It's only really bizarre sea creatures like... Um, one of the things that, that 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 really get people scared of this is that life is mostly uh, not even explored um, down so so down you know in in the depths of of the earth. It gets really really bizarre, and I'm sure you guys know about this. But in case you don't, hang on, uh, deep sea creature. Like eventually things just start looking like this. Because they don't have like use for eyes, you know, they get so bizarre and weird looking that um, You know We don't even know what is uh, down there, you know, it, it's quite fascinating actually, but uh, The bloop itself. I'm not a hundred percent sure how it was recorded, but uh, I can give you some context to this and learn some of myself, but um 
Here we go. Bloop was an ultra low frequency, high amplitude underwater sound detected by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in 97. By 2012, early speculation that the sound originated from a marine animal was replaced by NOAA's description of the sound as being consistent with noises generated via non tectonic criticisms originated from glacial movements such as ice calving and through seabed gouged by ice. You know what? No. No, 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 no. Seismic activity? I think I know. There you have it. The earth farted. But it was caused by a man. Well, all I gotta say is... Uh, fascinating but you know people people speculate what it actually was now the next one though the next one this julia one hang on um it's another unexplained one um this one's also kind of fascinating. Julie is a sound recorded on march 99 noah said the source of the sound was most likely a large iceberg but apparently, check this out, it was lo loud enough to be heard over the entire Equatorial Pacific Ocean uh, Autonomous Hydrophone Array, uh, which, big, with a duration of about 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Due to the uncertainty of the ar arrival azimuth, the point of origin can only be narrowed to between Bransford Straits and Cape Adari. Must be a pretty big iceberg then. Okay, dude, you... That makes the bloop sound like nothing. That is terrifying. Okay. Solved it. Solved it. I know people are saying like, well, Joey, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Well, let me show you something. What else could it be? Mm hmm That's the sound. Okay. That's how it is. That's how it is. Okay. On point, I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? It's very voice of the void, I gotta say, and by the way. Is train. Let me let me uh look this up. This is train, and is a, the train is the name given to a sound recorded in 97 on the Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array. The sound rises to a quasi steady frequency, according to the NOAA. The origin of sound is most likely generated by a very large iceberg. Shut up about these icebergs, okay? Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't think so for a second, okay? Some noisy, noisy icebergs, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, 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 uh. 
Now the question is, what do you think it is? People are saying train. People are saying train here. Boat, train. You guys want to hear something really scary right now? I'm going to crack my knuckles. Ready? That's a noise. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, again, th these are described as, you know, underwater noises that are caused by icebergs, but I don't think so. They're, they're also unique. They're also unique. Here's time and already, already, I'm just going to fill this in before we even listen to it because th this is, I mean, th this is it, man. I mean, take a look at, take a look at this, man. That's the eye. That's a large bulbous head. Okay. That is the, uh, that is the, uh, nose right there. Uh, okay. And, uh, this is a bird, actually. That's a bird. Okay. And then he's got his feathers out like this. And he, he's flapping around, you know. Look. Caw -caw, caw -caw. Blue Jay, Dwarf Fortress, I don't know. But, uh, hmm. Let's keep going here. Okay, that, that is fucked. Come on. Seriously. The only problem with, with this one right here is slow down is exactly this. The audience is now deaf. <laughs> okay. Where else be watching movies? Okay. First time something's common, they were created by icebergs. Bloop is said to be created by an iceberg cracking. Okay. Yeah. While Julia Train and Slowdown were all said to be created by icebergs grinding against the seafloor. He on that grind, though, he. Those recordings of the iceberg symbol have been made in the past two decades. Alright. Uh, the sound of the recordings, deep ocean sounds were not as well understood as they are today. Better not debunk your own video. His whistle! Do you guys hear anything? Do you hear it? Faintly, you know. Must have been the wind. Um, I don't know. I want to hear that again. Hear anything? You hear it? <laughs> Guys, it's Bloop. Bloop, check it on your vibe check. It. Nessie came for us. Okay. Well, um, interesting, interesting though. Whistle has been described by the NOA as the sound of a submarine volcano. I didn't hear whistle that well. Like, I just heard the sort of staticky underwater. I thought enough information was available in the recording to pinpoint its exact location. Okay. have never been ident- these are mystery- mystery ones. Okay. Unknown origin. 
Okay. Well, these are rather spooky, actually. Because they are unknown, they can't explain it. Okay. It's very repetitive, too. It's like, it goes through the same thing. It's supposed to be called a whale of unknown identity. <laughs> Okay, dude, I, now I don't want to dog on this video, but I think every whale has an unknown identity. They're not going to be like, my name is Rupert. <laughs> you know, like, how can you identify the whale? Like, there's many whales in the water, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I get it, it's species, okay? I fucking get it. It's been theorized to be an unknown species, or perhaps a hybrid creature of two known species. I, 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 I... I don't know, may maybe, uh, maybe getting it a little out there. Frequency of call 50 is significantly higher pitch than those of other whales. This may suggest a smaller animal. Okay, that that's that's plausible, actually. Okay. As long as you're not, like, in the secret experiments known to man as Pingu. 1984 migration pattern similar to a blue whale. Oh, you guys in, you guys, uh, in Seattle wa better watch out. You know, um, single animal making us earning the world's loneliest whale. Okay, you don't have to be so. My, I have a name. My name is Joel. Okay. Okay, that is that is the scariest one. That you know what that reminds me of. I, I, this is like stereotypical shit, right? But it, it, it reminds me a lot of this. Like, it, it kind of has that. And I'm not saying that because, like, visually... Actually, y you know, I, I keep doing this. But do you see it? Do you fucking see it? Like, for real? I'm not trying to make a, like, a meme out of this. But do, do you see that? Look. I. I. Ah ha 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 ha. Welcome to the spooky ocean. My name is... Skeletor! No. Someone said new VTuber. I hunger. <sighs> okay. Actually, I, I find that one actually kind of spooky. I see it's a bizarre case. The sound is loud enough to be heard out through the entire Pacific Ocean. It's been detected every year since 91, all on a gradually declining level. That is pretty, pretty spooky, I would say. So there's a seasonal pattern, speaking of the fall and spring, I don't know whatever this is due to the sound's origin or due to environmental factors. Kind of creepy. So there is that the upsweep may maybe volcanic activity, however there has no evidence to prove this, the sound remains unidentified. Someday perhaps there will be finally be a light shed up on the true origins of upsweep. Yeah, imagine this. Yeah, it was an iceberg. <laughs> Okay. That's a, that's a sea tarantula. Okay. It's vibing out. <laughs> okay, well, bye-bye. What else lurks within the abyss? Well, it's up to us to find out, I guess. You know, some of those were kind of legitimately creepy. I, I gotta say, I, I think the last one... What what was the, the the creepiest one? Like actually, like no joke. I think in a way I find it the most creepy because it, you know again it ties into my actual phobia in between all this irony of UFO esque sounds. You know, I'm I'm just saying. 
But but you know you know speaking of earthbound, you know what it actually sounds like? It sounds like uh, hang on. It sounds like this, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Pretty damn fascinating, everybody. Pretty damn fascinating. We have a couple more videos here to go tonight. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to take a slight break, come back, and we have the final videos of tonight. So, uh, yeah. And we'll be right back, sit tight, and we've got more spooky stuff coming up. Don't go nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have a couple more videos here uh, about some deep sea underwater stuff. Um,. This is just sent in. I don't know what this is, but apparently it's one of the most terrifying videos. Um, like people have said, don't watch this, Joel. Actually scary, actually scary. So, um, you know, let me see here. Uh, Joel, someone messed with the, with the Wikipedia article for unexplained sounds. What's this? Um, slow down the sound recording of the equatorial. This source is the sound was most likely a large iceberg has become grounded. Joel, stop reading these. Okay, not do that. Not do that. Okay, anyway, uh, here we go. We have an actual terrifying video here. Actually, terrifying video here. Um, this is called Don't Watch. Um, I think Exploit just crashed. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> Cursed video, they told me not to watch. <laughs> Hang on. Um, virus. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not even kidding, dude. It like crashed. Hang on. <laughs> fuck it. No, the video just loaded and it's ridiculous. Okay, Xbox nearly crashed because of this. What the fuck is this? What is, what is this? What is this? <laughs> this is Duende. Oh fuck, we're about to boom. About to, oh my god. Oh, he's flying too, dude. Okay, uh... That, that nearly crashed the entire thing, okay? <sighs> my god. Okay, that that was that could have been a disaster. Okay, yeah. worth it. Well, I gotta show you guys this because this is uh, one of the best, quote unquote. Okay, th th this video has crashed. Exp I can't drag things. It's crashing Internet. Ex not in Explorer. My actual like Explorer. You know, I can I can barely drag videos into Explorer anymore. Okay, there's something wrong. There's something really wrong. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Explorers encounter. Yeah, I'm not even kidding, dude. Okay, but anyway, guys, we have another video here. This is called uh, the Magna Pinna Squids. This is a channel dedicated to all this stuff. If you if you like want to watch these without my annoying fucking commentary, I highly recommend this channel if you want to like look this up. Um, because you know, check this out if if you like this kind of stuff. This is me giving like I used to uh, me watching it, you know. But but if you rather want to you know not torment yourself with this kind of commentary, go check this channel out. By the way. Deep sea oddities. 
November 11, 2000, a Magna Pena was filmed by an ROV in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. You guys remember this one? Footage comes from Perdido, one of the deepest oil drilling sites in the world. It is impossible to identify which piece of Magna Pena was filmed due to the insufficient perspective on the subject's appendages. But apparently, that's how long it is. And this crazy general is believed they grow up at least 23 feet over 7 meters long. Okay, you, you, you know what's a horrendous thought that he's thought about? How do they taste? You know? Because I know someone out there, someone out there is going to be like, you know what? Let's deep fry them. <laughs> you know? Like spaghetti. Oh, so it's like, uh, you know, scampy spaghetti. You know? That's just, that's just peak human. But this does terrify some people. Uh, I find it more fascinating, but, uh, you know, um, I forgot to fix this up. 90% of the overall body. Okay. There's something about the, 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 the camera footage, too, that is unsettling because it's like low quality, you know? So there's many feed by dragging their arms along the grabbing edible organisms. Alternative map could wait for prey to pass within range of the drifting arms and ensnare them once close enough. Don't things like down so deep you just eat like plankton or whatever? Increasingly more in recent years. Until a substantial amount of new information is collected. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. I, I would say... Um, Jim Gifford. <laughs> Add a little bit. <laughs> iMovie 2009. Subscribe my channel. Hunchback Entertainment. <laughs> okay. Alright. But, uh, interesting, interesting. Here's a video from Japan, and you guys remember what I was talking about, about uh, Prince Albert uh, reacting? Well, you know what? The apple doesn't fall from the tree. Uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, because ladies and gentlemen, we have a me reacting to a Japanese reaction of deep sea creature stuff. So check this out. And Expert just crashed again. Hang on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least somebody got the Prince Albert joke. Oh my god, this is this is nuts. Xplit refuses to cooperate. Uh, guys, we might have to end this early because Xplit has just totally shit the bed. Um. Wow, this is this is bad. Wait, 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 we might be able to fix it. We managed to fix it, guys, and I did it by having to drag it through a different process, but, um... Here we go. Again, this is a Japanese video. And I will do my best to translate. Okay, here we go. Deep sea ooh. Fallen footage was filmed at a depth of 769 meters during a 91 RV expedition at Japanese waters. Nanda, eh? <laughs> that guy loves him. Okay, that guy at the bottom right loves him. He's like friend. <laughs> he loves him. He loves him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you know what he looks like you know what that guy looks. Like? This is very. This is stretching it, okay? But uh, um, 
he he kind of looks a little bit like um he's like a, he's like japanese but hang on get, oh no oh no oh shit everything has crashed again everything has crashed again everybody oh god damn it hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on Oh my god, because I'm loading so many videos into XSplit. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a shit segment. Okay. Here we go, here we go, okay. It's it's the perfect image too, so like, you guys saying like, oh, it's not worth it, it's not worth it, dude, this is worth it. Okay, guys, guys, guys. You cannot tell me this is not like a dead ringer for my fires. <laughs> okay, look. I mean, my God. That's him. That is him, man. He's got to get his mojo back. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I mean, that's just... <laughs> Same person. It was a celebrity show. He's invited Mike Myers on. Okay. <laughs> okay, move, moving on, moving on, moving on. We're getting distracted here. I'm sorry. Eh? Okay. Okay, I watched so much Gaki no Tsukai, by the way, that I expect, like, some funny skit to happen. And suddenly, Endo, Auto. Eh? Yeah. Matsumoto, Auto. Yeah. Ah. The usual sub film was a particularly strange siphon of war. Calling it, oh, okay, was that? Well, we just watched one of those, right? No, there was a. Um, God, it was another kind of creature. Uh. Yeah, often called the giant siphonophone. Four. Portuguese man of war, not worldwide for its powerful venom. Okay, dude, dude, one of these days, when a UFO goes down to the, the White House, the door opens. That This is what they're going to look like, honestly. Okay. That's what they're going to look like. Okay. I mean, come on. Same on the coast of Angola by an ROV. This has been some physical similarities with the specimen from the 91 Japanese footage is that the characters of many writhing tentacles protruding from the main body. How did they build the ship, Joey? With tools? Could you imagine seeing this, like, for the first time? What do you do? You shut off the video feed and go to sleep? Like, this is getting a little too spooky for me. Hey, look at that. There's an eel. They're very, uh... <laughs> it looks like scorn. <laughs> I, I think I think this creature, uh... Y you know, it, it is almost humanoid in shape. Hear me out. It's like, you see the top? It looks like a torso. It has this almost like GLaDOS-esque feel to it. You, you see what I mean? Like, the very top is a head. Right? It's just a squid. No, 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 no. Let me, let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, no. <laughs> and this is just like a skateboard, and this is just the flames because it's going really quick. Joel, please. No. 
fuck it's the undertaker again or amish amish undertaker uh uh anyway mo mo moving on um I like, like a coat on that. Spooky spaghetti. It kind of looks... Uh, it kind of looks like... Um, what is what is the Japanese... Um, uh, seaweed salad called again? It's called... Uh, my god, I'm forgetting what it's called. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm you get with sushi. It's Wakame, yes. I might spell that a little bit. Okay, okay, you okay. Don't tell me you you guys don't see the happy smiley face. You guys might be all Joey Joey crazy. Dude, you see that, right? You see that, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in the contours. So you see this. See see right here? And then it's like happy, happy. You see that right? And then he's got his buddy with him, you know, uh, Mister Mister Kill, you know, uh, Pac Man. <laughs> uh, but you know, seriously, seriously, I, I think I, I think I can actually turn up the contrast on this video, and you'll you'll see what I mean. Do you see it better now? The face? How happy he is? Do you see the eyes? <laughs> Cursed. No, this is friendly. He likes to smile a lot. Okay. There we go. It just makes me want to play more Subnautica, honestly. <laughs> you know. What is more scary, sharks or dolphins? Uh, sharks? You know why dolphins are so fucking scary? Because they smart. Okay. Can't see. Wait a minute. Did I did I fuck with the contrast here? Yes, I, I'm so sorry. Wait. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Wait. This is the video. <laughs> what are we looking at? Fixed crop. The crop is fixed. Or has it? No. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I messed this up. I messed this up. Okay. Okay, let me <laughs> rewind that footage. I'm sorry. There we go. I don't know if I find these scary, though. Like, I find these these weird creatures sort of, like, ethereal and kind of beautiful looking. Like, it's like, wow, this is... We really live on a very precious Earth, and this sure is a lot of weird, weird stuff, but I don't feel like fear like oh my god you know i don't know it's just I, i'm looking at this stuff and i'm like huh you know what it is you know what it is it, it's this it's this music it's the music music is very manipulative you know if we instead had this you know i'm gonna put on some horror music for you right then and once you hear this the whole tone the whole tone will be different here we go. Recent RV expeditions have uncovered new footage of an There's no telling what will be found. Okay. I don't know. I find most of them fascinating. I really do. I really do. Um, they are they are very interesting. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I actually have something really scary here. And um, again... I say this, but like this, this is a terrifying video for some people. So, you know, if you're watching and you find this deep sea stuff scary, uh, it's one of the final videos we have tonight. So all I got to say is, um, this gets weird. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh, 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 oh!
real or fake real or fake sorry cough someone said fake that's an animation you can't prove that ladies and gentlemen we're coming towards the ending here I want to say thank you guys for submitting your videos here into the deep sea creature category. Uh, we have a little bit of a bonus here at the very end. Um, I'm just going to play them and, uh, you know, see what we got. We have this. Before we go, the city of Amarillo is asking for help identifying this strange creature Whoa. here. This image was recorded by a surveillance camera May 21st at the Amarillo Zoo. Officials say it was inside the zoo's perimeter fence. For now, the strange visitor is referred to as a UAO, unidentified Amarillo object. Unidentified Amarillo object? <laughs> Before we go, the city of Amarillo is asking for help identifying this strange creature Whoa. here. Uh -oh. This. Okay, that is that is fucked. Okay, that's a werewolf. It's not a fucking werewolf. How the fuck do you guys see werewolf? Hang on, let me let me. That's fucked. That is fucked, okay? You guys don't see that. Crash Bandicoot. No, he's 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 like a like a man with a, with with a fork. Look. You know? <laughs> you guys don't see it! Fork Duende. Um, why'd you give him a penis? Where's the penis? No, the, these are... These are legs! Okay? Um... Joel sees his characters all the time. Well, you know, I'm right. It's like it's more big footy than than you know. Um oh, you, oh, pee pee pee. Well, you want me to draw a big pee pee? Oh, pissing everywhere. All oh, so mature, guys. Okay, no. I, I don't see what you guys are fucking seeing. Okay, well, anyway, anyway. The image was recorded by a surveillance camera. Look at it. It's got two big Amarillo eyeballs. Zoo. Officials say it was inside <laughs> the zoo's perimeter fence. For now, the strange visitor is referred to as a UAO. UAO. Unidentified Amarillo. <laughs> He's so goofy. <laughs> it's got his little fork out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it, guys. <laughs> God damn it, guys. No, it's... That's what it is. It's Wiley Coyote. No, it's not. Jesus. Okay, we're well, moving on, guys. Moving on. We have this. I live down in Florida, and with the pool, I thought it would be great to have an outside Stretch it. bathroom. And for the most part, we love it. You know, there's a shower and, of course, using the facilities without having to go inside all wet after being in the pool. But I came to the sink and I have a little friend. Look, who could that be? That's a rat. So, what do you think? That's, that's a rat or no? Lizard, it's like a squirrel or something. Frog? Snake? No. I am in Florida and I am not too far from the Everglades. So Okay, well, first of all, get him out. Secondly, get him out. Okay. What the hell? You let me know what you think that creature is. I don't know what the creature is, but I would suggest like unplugging the um uh, the water lock on the on your sink and, you know, 
facilities without having to go inside all wet after being in the pool. But I came to the sink and I have a little friend. Look. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody is on the vine boru, uh, if anybody wants to put a little friend face, I have a little friend. <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, okay. I want to say that's a scary video. It's it's l more normal than anything. But all right. Okay, what is this? Viral CCTV footage, mysterious pale figure leaves internet puzzled. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's just a man looking for beans. This is like a Florida moment. Okay. <laughs> that's the goblin. But not Duende. Goblin, not Duende, though. <laughs> you see his face clearly. Right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. No. I'm not gonna say this, but you know, what if this? What if this is like a man with no clothes has a back problem? You know. Clearly. <laughs> you know I mean, he's just walking around looking for pants. <laughs> Crackhead Joey. <laughs> You know what he is? He's the he's the um he's the emote we have in chat, the uh Varg Groove, isn't it? The Tom Morello. <laughs> you know. I think so, I think so. I think so. Okay, okay. Well, guys, um sadly we are done for tonight. I'm gonna say thank you for watching these. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun to watch these videos. Um, and, you know, if you guys have scary videos you want to submit that I can look at and we can analyze. But, uh, you know, uh, I had a lot of fun watching tonight. Had a lot of fun watching tonight. I would say that the, I am... I'm, I'm, <laughs> um, Obviously, I don't take these things too seriously. I just like to watch weird stuff on YouTube, you know? So, uh, yeah, but hey, this was a lot of fun, everybody. And all I say is, if you want to submit videos, get in contact with one of the mods, send them a link, and uh, we'll take a look at them. So, uh, there we go. Anyway, guys, uh, next week is going to be Skeletons. See you then.